Right, where are we going? To Phuket. To Phuket? Yeah. Well, where are we going first then? What, what do we have to fly first? An uh, airplane. And then where are we going after Phuket? Hmm? Then we need to get... What island are we going airport. to? Airport. What island are we going to after Phuket? After Phuket? The beach. To call. To call. Call pee. Pee pee. Are you excited? To call pee pee. Are you excited? Yeah. Really? Yeah, but I didn't want me to bed. There's a big adventure. And Daddy saying bye bye to you, aren't I? The same bye bye to you. So I'm going to see you when I come back, yeah? See you when I come back, yeah? Oh yeah! That's clever! I'll see you when I get back, yeah? I'm gonna take your big bro, yeah? I'm gonna miss your big bro? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna fly down to Bangkok, then from there we're gonna be staying in Phuket for a little while. And this is a much nicer adventure for me because usually I do these trips alone and now we're taking Otis. Um, we have to be on PP and he's going to get to see it. So I was actually just at PP a few months ago and uh, I really didn't want to do the trip again alone. So we take Tiss this time. Are you sure you don't want to go to school instead? No, they don't like to go back to it and do something more fun and bring the monkey and bring the monkey tail. We're going to be staying in some cool hotels too. Daddy's booked some really nice hotels, haven't I? Really? Yeah, when Daddy travels, Which? and Daddy's cheap Charlie. Really? Yeah, when Daddy goes on my own, I'm cheap Charlie. It means I stay in, or oh, small rooms smell bad. Really? But then when I travel with Tiss, not cheap Charlie. We get really nice rooms, yeah? Really? With swimming pool and breakfast and everything. So yeah, quite honestly, when I go on my own, I'm bored. <laughs> it's, it's boring for me these days to do these kind of trips. But with this, it's a whole different level of excitement because he gets to see things, he gets to do things that he's never done before. So the whole thing has a lot more meaning and a lot more, it's a lot more interesting, a lot more fun. You are going to be okay here? Yes. We did little boy. We cannot travel. He's screaming. <laughs> I think because uh, he like when Otis was his age, he travels in his two months, so he get used to travel. If we be, travel with Otis, with the, uh, when when he was a baby, it's more easier. But he would go like uh, he always in the farm. I think next trip, Ko Chang, though, right? Yeah, if we drive our own car, we'll be fine for him. You happy to get rid of us? <laughs> so let's jump in the taxi and go to Buriram Airport. song isn't it from Elvis how does it go can you sing it I can't help falling in love with We've made it to Phuket, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's 
So we've arrived here and we're on Surin Beach. It's a little bit more rainy than we expected. And it's over there. And a word to the wise, I'm going to be putting out a little bit of to do and not to do. When you arrive in Phuket Airport and they have a little taxi booth there, just tell them taxi meter. Taxi meter, they, they quoted me about 20% more than the actual taxi should cost. And they'll do that if you think, you know, you don't know. So if you arrive in Phuket Airport, you're getting a taxi somewhere, always ask them for taxi meter. That's my little tip. Got some more tips coming. You get your get your clicks worth. What did you think of going on the plane and the travelling? How was it all for you? It's always nicer to travel with Otis anywhere. Just makes it far more fun for me. Far more fun and meaningful. Would you swim in there, Tess? He says no. Let's go and take a look and then I'll decide, okay? Come on then. I actually prefer it when it's overcast like this. You know, it's not blazing hot sun. I definitely prefer it. So it's looking beautiful. Nice to be here. And we've got three days here in Sarin and then we're heading on over to PP. Really cool. I'm getting much more cool. It's sandwich. Right, we we'll run in then. <laughs> I know this little boy is very, very excited. He's been a great traveller. Two taxis, two planes, not complained once never moaned or grumbled or has never been difficult or hard work he's a really good traveler he's, he's an adventurer Pretty yummy can i have some or not a little cheeky Morning from Surin Beach, guys. And I'm hoping that this uh, windshield on the microphone is gonna help, because there's a lot of breeze here and a lot of waves. Here we've got Tiss playing in the sand. And it's a beautiful, beautiful morning coming into afternoon on Surin Beach. Quite busy today. I remember him in Bali playing on the beaches every day in all the other places we've been to and visited. This is his favorite thing to do. Get the sand and just play. He does this for hours and hours. So we decided to get um, a couple of beds here, a coffee for me. And this is what we're gonna do all day. I thought about, you know, going shooting a vlog, but I've massively underestimated how difficult it is to vlog and take care of him because um, he likes to talk to me a lot like he'll just talk 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 the whole time i've had a few subscribers notice us and come up and start talking and um as they were kind of telling me their stories they, you know they want to talk and I'm, I'm always interested to hear people's stories otis has been behind me like with an angry face and really rude to these people i mean he's only five he doesn't know the social etiquette but if the conversation has gone on for like longer than 20 minutes, he gets really angry and like, come on, daddy, we gotta go, we gotta go. So I've just under, I've underestimated how difficult it is to travel and vlog and, you know, meet people and whatnot while with Otis. Um, you know, last time we went on a trip, we did a father son thing in Khao Yai and there was lots of stuff kind of set up. We went to, a camping place so it's kind of easy to shoot content and make it kind of fancy and edited and stuff like that but here it feels like I don't even get two minutes you know there's you got to shower them you got to make sure they eat properly you know you got to um, it just seems maybe it's a bit hectic because we've, we've taken two taxis and two planes 
all the way from Buriram, so it's been like pretty full on. These are moments in our life that we get to spend together, father, son. And to be honest, we've just been playing around the whole time, just joking around, laughing, and uh, it's never been a real good opportunity to do solid YouTube content. It's just, um, just this daily diary stuff. And I, I mean, that's fine by me. You know, I don't, as I've said before, I don't want YouTube to run our lives. Uh, we we want to make YouTube work around our lives. So first and foremost, it's about enjoying these beautiful places. And it's about um, it's spending time together, father and son. And then YouTube comes secondary to that. So I won't let him swim in this sea because these waves are quite crazy. I've always got to keep an eye on him. There is lifeguards here, which I'm surprised to see. There's a lifeguard uh, area, but I think that's because so many people have had problems here. Uh, mainly when they swim out too far and they get caught in a, a current, a riptide, or, um, but I think walking on the beach you're pretty safe. You've got the surfers over that side of town. Living the dream, guys. This is the dream. It's a kid's dream. You know what I mean? It's a very overused, that term, living the dream. But for a kid, I've noticed with Otis, spending this much time together, like on the road, and, and having him kind of... You know, when I give him, when we get on the plane, I, I give him our booking tickets and I say, right, what gate have we got to get the plane from? What time is the plane coming? So he's kind of learning skills as well. He's learning how to travel. Um, he, he learns a lot about money and the use of money. Like when we go to the ATM, he knows my PIN number and he gets the money out and how much things cost and how much the room costs and things like that. So he's learning along the way. And I, I love to use these experiences as, as learning experiences for him. How much is a coconut? Um, you know, what's going on? How, how do you get your plane? How do you get a bus? What are we doing now? Sometimes I'll ask him, like, what are we going to do now? You know, instead of kind of dictating and dragging him around, um, I ask him what we're going to do. And I, I feel like that's just building up his, um, well, his maturity and his intelligence. I think that's good for him. And but for me, it's, it's been great to step into the mind of a five-year-old and just like the way he thinks. Because sometimes I'll say, right, what are we going to do now? And he'll say, chocolate cake. <laughs> and that's what we do. Um, it's, it, to travel with him is much nicer than when I'm traveling alone. Um, just a much more rewarding than when I come out alone. And we're on the video calls to demo every day. So we're always calling calling Damo and checking in with her on video and I think the next trip will be with her she wants to go to Koh Chang next and I think we'll arrange that and we asked his teachers before we came we said look we're going on this trip to Koh Phi Phi and um, you know can he get out of school and he's like yeah no problem so there's never any issue with that and this is education in, in my opinion it may just be playing on the beach but it's education and again, something I talk about a lot on this channel is we'll never have these times again. Anything can happen. You know, you're here one minute, you're gone the next. And so I don't want him to be in school the whole time. Once every two or three months, we get him out of, out of uh, the school and out of the farm and, and traveling. And hopefully it'll be the same with Hugo. So this is real life education. It's funny we never teach these things in school to kids. How to travel how to get a plane, how to, how to organize your life, how to organize accommodation from a young age. You just never, they don't teach that in school, right? So this is where we teach it. And what a classroom, what a beautiful classroom this is. Far more exciting than your, your standard uh, average classroom. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little so be here as the night starts falling Let my fingers walk over your head We got 
You see here we got a three-legged dog. I don't know how they survive. I don't know how they make it. These street dogs are really tough. Lost a leg and still hopping around on the beach. Quite fat too, looks like it's been well fed. Um, three legs. These dogs are tough guys. A bit messier on the beach too. Probably been hit by a car, but who knows? Sometimes they're born this way too, I think. But yeah, the car's more, more likely. Take a walk on the beach. Looks like they're doing some bamboo work here. Building this structure. All the inside's bamboo as well. Quite a good job. Plastic bamboo. And a little bamboo bar here. It is starting to rain. And this is our little evening walk. <laughs> he hit himself in the head there, I don't know if you saw that. Um, so, it's got a lot of little seafood spots. Hello! <laughs> got a little bar here. And you can see that it's super excited. So there's been a lot of talk of Russians taking over Phuket. Whatever that means. You, uh, I can't see it here in Sirin. But I hear a lot of talk about it. it comes in the, up in the comments quite a lot. But if, for the ones that are here legally, and they're bringing money into the economy, and they're following all the rules, I don't really see a problem with it. I think the main problem is the other stuff. You know, the gangster stuff, and all of that jazz. Um, I, I think that's coming, becoming a, in a problem in, in Phuket. Certainly I have seen a lot of Russian tourists here. But as I said, it doesn't matter to me if they're Russian, German, Swedish, English, whatever. If they're here under the correct rules and they're bringing money into the economy, a lot of them buy property. Um, you know, the ones that are here rightly should be allowed here. So that's my comment. I'm a bit live and let live on the whole situation. Of course, I draw the line when it becomes gang related or illegal. So Tis, every second of us being here, he says, Daddy, 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 Daddy. You just kind of got used to it. And before I had kids, I saw the people with the kids like that. And um, for me, I, I think it's like a good opportunity to teach him and to practice his English. He practices English a lot with me. You know, I'm one of the main people that he speaks English with. He'll talk Thai with his mum. And he talks Thai with his friends and at school and places like that. So I'm, I'm his English connection and that's what we want. I think we'll go up to this place up here as it's starting to rain. Looks like they've got a half decent coffee machine up there. And we'll grab a coffee. Just go first, don't fall, yeah? Hey. Do you like that plant one there? No. Why? It's not me. You only like real plants, don't you? Yeah. I'm going to throw it in the beach. No, it is. Right, I'm going to ask you some questions now. Mm -hmm. And you've got to give me your honest, real answers, okay? okay. No teasing, yeah? Okay. Where do you like most, Tis? Do you like Khao Yai or here? Two. Both of them? Yeah. What do you like to eat most, French fries or burgers? Two. Both of them? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you miss your mummy today or not? Yeah. Who do you miss more, Hugo or mummy? Two. Both of them? Yeah. <laughs> um, do you want to stay here one more day or do you want to go to Pee Pee tomorrow? I want to stay here one day. Stay here one more day. Right. What's your favourite thing about here, Tess? What's your favourite thing about this place in Phuket? I do like, like to play on the beach and empty the hotel and, and shower. Shower is your favourite place? Yeah, but... And... And... You know what? What? I go to the beach and one more thing is I like to go... Keep... Eat hamburgers. 
thank you for having my interview with you. Okay, bye. I think that's probably the longest I've been able to interview Otis. I've just noticed the sand all over my camera. I don't think um, I don't, it's not interrupting with the film. Look at that, Chase. That is big. Oh my god. Is that in the beard? I think so. This looks right, guys, actually. Very few get my coffee right, but this looks about right. Five out of ten. Just because. If they foam the milk, because I don't have sugar in my coffee, if they foam the milk, it's nicer. It gives it a sweetness, but it's not a sugary sweetness, you know. So this is like a bit bitter. Yeah? Actually, What? Actually, after the delighted hotel. You like this place? Yeah. Do you want to stay here? Yeah. You know you're my best friend in the whole world? Yeah. Am I your best friend? Yeah. Are you having fun on this trip? Yeah. I can see it in your eyes Oh yeah But there is no need for sorrow Cause I will be with you every second of my life Sometimes it's just another day to get through But it's not